Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can determine Cohen's D or Hedges G uh, with or without a correction um, using the SPSS output and actually performing the calculations using Excel because unfortunately in SPSS I haven't figured out a way to determine all of these using the graphical user interface. Um, it's a bit of a wasp nest, uh, all these different types of uh, Cohen's D's and because there are uh, variations on it. So um, I hope I finally figured it out a little bit for you guys. In a previous video, I showed you how to create a paired samples t-test uh, in SPSS. And I'll only be going over how to compute Cohen's D and Hedges uh, G for uh, paired samples. For independent samples, um, everything goes slightly different. Okay, um, the first thing we need is to copy this information onto our Excel. Uh, if you want to be extremely precise, you can double click and then actually select the cells once it opened up. My computer is a bit slow, so hopefully not too slow that I have to restart all over again. There we go. And if you click then again, one of the cells you get slightly more decimals. Uh, for this example I'll simply copy this one, copy special and as an image, okay, and then put that into my Excel. Okay, and I will not be using that many decimals. So the mean, uh, the sample size before it was 24 and the after was also 24 the mean for before was 32.25 and for after it was 44.08 and the standard deviation for before was 22.55284 to be precise and the uh, let's see, oh 44 0.0833 and the standard deviation was 30.14446 three fours, yes okay, so I can delete and this one now because I copied all the relevant information um, one other one that I will actually need is the mean and the standard deviation of the difference uh, there were 24 pairs that were used I can see that up here in the paired samples correlations and the mean and the standard deviation from the test result the mean was 11.83333 and the standard deviation was 24.16549 okay that's all the information I needed from SPSS now what's important is sometimes they refer to a uh, pooled uh, variance as it's called which has this scary looking formula or even a weighted pool uh, uh, standard deviation which has a scarier looking formula um, but because the uh, before and after sizes are equal these two will actually also be the same so I'll simply use this formula which mentions to take the square root out of the variance of the two um, before and after variables divided by 2. So I actually also need the variance and I'll simply insert a row here for variance and variance is simply the square of the standard deviation. So this one squared. I can copy paste this information and to calculate this as uh, pooled as uh, pooled it's the square root two times parentheses of the first one plus the variance of the second one close one parentheses and then divide by two yes that's fine it closes the last parentheses so 26.620 now for Cohen's D there are quite a few different variations um, but probably the most common ones are the, this one, which I will call the average because it's using the average of the uh, pooled. And another one is uh, with Z here being the differences. So this is actually what I call Z. Um, so there are two different ones and they produce slightly different results. So DA 
is the difference between the first average which was this one and the second average which was that one and then divided by the one we just calculated well dz is the average of the differences divided by the standard deviation of those uh, differences so as you can see uh, we ignore the negative signs uh, but that's a relatively similar uh, approach the change in negative sign is actually here because the difference was actually calculated of after minus before so that would also flip these two around in this formula and then that this one would become actually positive Hedges G uh, is very similar to Cohen's D uh, but it uses the weighted pool uh, standard deviation and uh, since these two are actually the same that means that uh, G in this case would be the same as this one and then as a finishing touch um, especially when you have smaller uh, sample size there's um, uh, there's a bit of a correction that can be applied so this correction that's then usually indicated with an asterisk correction um, which is uh, 1 minus 3 over and then open the parenthesis four times open another set of parentheses the sample size of the first group plus the sample size of the second group which in essence is uh, simply two times the first or the second one and then minus a 9 close the last set of parentheses and we now have our correction factor so if we wanted the corrected version of each of these we can simply say it's this value multiplied by this one and here as well is this one multiplied by this one you can use the dollar signs and then copy paste if you uh, in a hurry but just for clarity I'll simply do it one by one so these are the effect sizes regular and these are corrected for small sample sizes there are plenty of other uh, effect sizes but I think these are the basic ones and uh, the biggest difference here is uh, whether or not you're using the original values or actually the differences and that's where this DZ comes in there's something to be said for each so um, yeah l look at what's most appropriate in your field or what your professor wants you to do Okay, that's it.